you know what? I, I was actually, I came to see the shoes. Oh! Those shoes. <laughs> Coming are from amazing. A, coming from a fashion icon? <laughs> I mean, just return them when you're done. I think she had to do that on air. Like, who does that? Who does that? Sorry, I'm, I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those. <laughs> no, you know what? You've done this before. Do you want to introduce us to the show? No, you? no, you go ahead. Yeah. Okay. No. Then if I do Like this... I said, I'm not one of those. Wait if... a second. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if I do this, she's definitely going to close the show, right? Okay, I'll close Perfect. the show. Perfect. A very good morning to you guys and welcome to Life and Style. It's Monday and on Motivate today, all hail the Queen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here to find out how does she keep it so... Have you seen her posts on Instagram? Do you think she's funny? Yeah. I think she's awesome. Really? Thank I think you. She's awesome. I'm glad. Super awesome. Yay. So let's find out. Yeah. What is she all about? What is she hiding in here? Come, 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 come. Let's go inside. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> welcome home. It feels like I'm getting into a hotel. Really? <laughs> yes. It is so beautiful. So this is my husband's home. We okay. live in a joint family. Okay. And they've been living here for over 20 years, 25 years. I've been living here for 10, 11. Oh my God, I've been married 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> 11 years. 11 years. Do you want to yes. see some of that? Yes, sure. You want to see right. the photos? Great. So that's my mom-in-law and my father-in-law. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is at my husband's graduation. Okay. And this is them at their wedding day. Oh my God, it looks so cute. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. You, if you see my mom-in-law, she's not aged at all. At all, at all. That's my husband and I. Mm. Traditional Indian wedding, seeing him wearing a turban. That, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Gotta do it, right? Uh, that is Raj's elder sister mm -hmm. and her husband. Okay. And that is my mom-in-law, my niece, mm -hmm. and Raj's sister. Great. Yeah. You want to see this one as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Raj's brother, um, Raj's brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my mom-in-law. Perfect. Yeah. We like photos. Can you tell? I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Stanley? Can you see the walls? Oh my god, I love that one. <laughs> that's my niece. Oh. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> so, so cute. Beautiful. So yeah, okay. that's Raj's graduation. Okay. Um, I can take you on this side and I'll show you some family photos. Uh, that's my fam. So that's my son when he was, what, six months or seven months old. That's uh -huh. my daughter. Uh -huh. my What's the name? Um, this is Aryan. Mm -hmm. This is Ariana. Beautiful. Raj and myself. Great. That's at my brother-in-law's wedding. I'm jealous. Yeah, I don't be jealous. Really? Some assaulted stuff. <laughs> Come through. Oh okay. man, wow. yeah. What is this? Okay, so there's a lot of religious stuff going on over here. Okay. This is the Laughing Buddha. Mm -hmm. So, uh, legend has it, or rumor has it, mm -hmm. that if you rub his tummy, you get rich. Yeah. Any particular way? Mm, just rub his tummy, but then you let us know, okay? <laughs> Let us know when you get rich, because okay. that's when I want to know you. <laughs> I will. Beautiful. And then these, are, of course, are, are the, the traditional Buddhas. That's Ganeshji, mm -hmm. which, you know, is a, is a god that uh, a lot of Hindus worship because he's a, he, he's a god of prosperity, okay. basically, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so there are a lot of, like, my mom-in-law has collected a lot of knickknacks, statues. There's a lot of her in, in this home, yeah. But it looks beautiful. Yeah. And very, very home homely. Yes, it's a beautiful home. I love <sighs> living here. Yeah. Great. Welcome. I Come sit. So just remember you're finishing the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> remember you're closing the show. In Sheng or Kifuyu? Ooh, or, or look Kifuyu? at you. <laughs> You do it in whatever language you want to do it. Okay. We'll go look for dictionaries and stuff later. Okay, to just, fine. <laughs> to just Let's put hope I make sense. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. I'm glad Starstruck to be here. Really? I know yes. Oh. Do you know, growing up... Um, you know, I No, 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 hearing. don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because growing, growing up... up when growing I was up, in school. No, no, no. Yeah. Because let me tell you, the one thing why for me it makes sense is because you've constantly been relevant. Oh, thank you. You know, the people we had when we were growing up and... Mm. They're not there anymore. Yeah. And when I say growing up, it's not like when I was in primary school. Yeah. yeah. Like when I knew what fashion is. Okay. <laughs> when I knew what fashion is. Yeah. And maybe what what has it how has it been for you to be constantly relevant over the years? 
Well, for me, it's just, I mean, I'm completely honored that people are still interested in what I'm doing. And, yeah. you know, because um, I think when I was that big household name, I just He's took too everyone. Long. He's Thank too you. Long. <laughs> I, everyone was part of my family. So, you know, you guys saw me get married. You yes. guys saw me through my struggles of motherhood. You guys saw me becoming a mom. So it's just a journey that I've been sharing and never been afraid to share. I'm just an open and honest person. I like. And I like it. And it's different that because it's... most of the people would prefer to um, hide behind the cameras and yeah. not talk about what they're going through, not knowing that their journey inspires, encourages, and you know changes a life every single day. Absolutely. So we have to say thank you for that. Oh, no, for thank you. Thank you for, for letting, allowing me. For letting us in. Yeah. Now, maybe you can take us back, you know, sure. getting into the industry yeah. and uh, you know oh. finding your footing. Many, and many, 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 many years, years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was interesting. I, I started off um, at KBC as a TV presenter. Do you know that? I did start there. Yeah, so it's okay. Imagine. <laughs> and then I was like, wow, this is so cool. This is the coolest thing ever. Uh -huh. And then I actually even did a, a, a radio show on KBC. English service? Uh, yes, it Metro? was on English. No, on Metro. I think it was on Metro, but it was like an Indian show. Okay, okay. And then that was, it was a once weekly show. Uh huh. And then I, I was like, okay, this, uh, then they shut that down, budget reasons. And I was like, oh man, I really want to do this. And I was dating Raj at, the, at that time. And How he long was, have you guys been dating? 20 plus? 21 years, 21 yeah. years, whoa. Imagine that. Yeah, 21 years okay. together, mm -hmm. 11 years married. Um, so we, we, he was in England, so I went, I followed him to the UK, I stalked him, and I, I got work as an intern at BBC and a network called ZTV. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back to Nairobi, because I was hustling, you know, I was yeah. constantly hustling. I want to be in the media, I want to be in the media. Zane Vergy actually called me and she's like, do you still want to be in the media? Because mm -hmm. I'm leaving my job and there may be an opening. Wow, yeah. that's huge. Yeah, and, and I'll jumped. never forget. Did you jump right onto that? Yes, I was like, yay, of course. And then mm -hmm. it took like, four months of training, mm -hmm. um, then I was on the graveyard shift, which is 1 a.m. to yes. 5 a.m. <laughs> then I was on the well. late night show, which uh -huh. is 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then they put me on the mid-morning show. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. How was that for you? I know you wanted to be in media, yes? But uh, after your experience in radio, you also did a stint on TV? Yeah, I did some stuff on TV. I mean, that, that kept coming to me. Work on TV kept, continuously came my way because of my position in radio. Okay, Yeah. and the modeling bits? Okay, so modeling I had been doing since I was 16. Okay. My mom was a model. Uh, she modeled in front of Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. Oh my God. I know, I was like, wow, I have those photos, you know, at Independence Day. We need State. to see those photos, yeah. great. Well, they're not here, they're mm. at her house. Okay. Mm. But anyway, I mean like, so she's the one who, who got me inspired. Okay. And I was, at 16, I was overweight. I had a uni brow, but I was like, I want to model. <laughs> <laughs> and I went and I started doing some stuff. And you know, like I had an agency called Kelu. I don't know if you ever heard of Kelu. No. So they train models okay. and then they'd, they'd find us work. Mm -hmm. And um, and then when I was 24, I won Miss India Kenya. So is is, that's is when... it still going on now? You know, is there it, are many it, versions, versions of it. Versions of it. Yeah. Oh, because I, um, I once hosted with, well, once in a while I do, with Finale Kalaya. Okay, yeah. 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 She's Miss India, Kenya, International. Something, something yeah. Something. So there the, like I said, there's so that. many versions, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And I love that as a country, we are open to such. Mm. And to, um, it's, it's not just books anymore. There's, yeah. so much, there's so much more that I you mean, can do. look, books yeah. are important. It's yes, they good are. to have an education. It's yes. good to be educated yes. so that when you are giving your opinion, oh. it's not from ignorance. You are aware of things that are going on. And that doesn't always come from being in school. True. Although, <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, modeling, TV, radio, and we still see you. What are you? What are you doing, um, uh, Pinky? So right now, I do a lot of like motivational speaking. Yes. I am a corporate MC. I just yes. did a TED talk on Saturday, which was amazing. What was it about? Um, so the, they had given me the first three words of the sentence: "Life is about," and I had to complete it. So my uh, my my story was: "Life is about being in the moment." Mm -hmm. 
That's beautiful. Do you want to tell us a bit more, more about that? Of course. Please. So, you know, now that I've talked about it, I, there's <laughs> nothing to hide. I can yes. share it with you. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of the times we let our life go by and then, you know, you try and think back. So, for example, wedding day, you're like, oh, but that was hazy because I was overwhelmed by being anxious and angry maybe and, you know, just overwhelmed by guests and so much going on. My shoes didn't fit and the dress split at the, in the sides. Um, but the point of my talk was that you need to always consistently remind yourself to be in the moment. Do you know how hard that is? It's very hard, but it's beautiful when you're in the moment. Yeah. Life is beautiful and that's what living is. It's finding beauty in every moment. Wow. Yeah. I, I try. <laughs> Most of the times I fail. No, you need to be in the moment. Honestly, because um, when, you, when you look back, you'll be like, why did I waste so much of my life on things I don't remember? Yeah. And it doesn't mean that you have to go out there and splurge money and make memories. It could be like what we're doing right now. Just be here, be present. Don't be thinking about you leaving the cooker on at home. But I hope you didn't leave the I cooker. I didn't leave it. <laughs> that I'm sure. I did not do that. Yeah. You have, um, there's some things that you're doing with the UNHCR. Yes. And you're a huge influencer yes. uh, when it comes to that. Do you want to highlight about that? So uh, I am what they call a high level influencer with UNHCR. Mm -hmm. So my job, my role is to make people aware about refugees in our country. We have just under 500,000 refugees in our country and 70% of those are women and children. Oh, yeah. So there was a campaign that I did where mm -hmm. I went out and I asked people on the streets, I'm like, can you imagine if there was war in our country? I mean, you saw how volatile the situation was last year during elections. Yeah, it it was, we were in a very sensitive situation. But, you know, imagine it's you're sitting at home and you hear them coming, you hear the gunshots. What do you do? You need to flee, you need to run. What do you grab? My children. Okay, so you, you take your children and you start running. Yes. You don't know where you're going, no. right? And now it starts getting dark and your children are cold and hungry. What do you do? Cover them with my hands or give them my clothes. Okay, so now you've been going for four days. We have nothing to give and then you need to get to a border. So between the time that you're like, okay, I need to get out of this house, yeah. I don't want to be killed, and you're actually crossing a border, do you know what could have happened to you, one, as a woman, yes. two, with children? Yeah. Some women don't, don't make that journey with, they don't end that journey with yeah. their children. And that for me was heartbreaking. And you see like, you, for a lot of us, we're like, oh, refugees are not my problem. But they're just like you and I, yeah. and we need to get involved and be our brother's keeper. It could happen to you. It I mean, could happen to, to us. That. And we have, we had, um, we had our own IDPs. So imagine they just moved in the same country to a different place, and it was not to a easy. place that is not home. It is not home. It, was, yeah. it wasn't easy for them. You lose now, everything. You lose everything. You go with whatever's on your back, if that. If you're not bartering it for food and yeah. whatever, you know. So as you do this influencing, what, what can we do as Kenyans? What is your message to us? What can I do as Mukali? Okay, so there is, what I'm doing is I'm part of a, a tribe called Luku Luku tribe. I know Luku Luku. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you can be a part of this tribe okay. by donating. You can M-Pesa. If you go to donate.unhcr.org, you can find that M-Pesa number. You will find out where your money is going. And it doesn't have to be a huge amount. You could do 50 bob, 25 shillings, 100 bob. Whatever you want, it's going to education, clothes, food, um, you know, stuff to just give them shelter. Beautiful. I hope you guys are following and join Tribe Luku Luku. Yes. I promise to join. You I, must. I, I will join. Yeah. I definitely I'll will I'll check join. on you when you return my shoes. <laughs> <Good shoes. laughs> I'll ask her. Hold it to it, okay? <laughs> Keeping your balance. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, career, mm -hmm. limelight, celebrity status. Kids, right now I'm sure you're all like, what's the time? I need to yeah. keep from yes. school. So there's a lot of that. How do you keep a balance through all of this? I prioritize, to okay. be honest. I'm like, what's the first thing that is important to me? Do you think we lose ourselves in the status? Yes, I think sometimes we yeah. do, but it's at no fault of anyone's, okay. you know, but different priorities for different people. Um, and, and some people are, are like, no, but it's, it's handled. I've done my part. Um, so each to their own but for me this is the way i do it i prioritize my kids come first and that is with everything okay. i don't care who you are 
my children will always, always come first. So if we don't finish this interview on time, I will leave you here and go pick up. You, could, you could be talking to an empty who, chair. <laughs> I would have mentioned somebody who did that on TV, yeah. but then I wouldn't. Because <laughs> we'll, we'll finish in good yeah. time. We'll finish in good time. And um, uh, taking you back to BBC, you, you left the country, you went to the UK. Mm -hmm. It's not like you were thinking, when I go there, I'm going to look for BBC. I might have connections mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. You went there and you hustled your way in yes. to get yeah. an internship. Yeah. Is it something that the young ones are doing right now? If, if I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, I really think that we're afraid of the hustle. Don't okay. want to get our hands dirty. Like, mm, no, I'll ask maybe once or twice, but then ugh, if it doesn't come to me. Ugh. But I really think that, you know, the reason it's called hustle is because you really have to hustle. Yeah. It's, it's not always easy. Just but do it because, again, it's going back to that being in the moment. These are what's going to these are the things that are going to make your memories. That's true. Yeah. What do you do when you get to that point where I'm feeling overwhelmed? I don't think I can do this anymore. Yeah. And yes, I'm living in the moment. That moment right now says you don't have to do this. So, so what happens I'll teach to you, Kiki? I'll teach you a trick and it was again part of my, my TED talk. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to talk a, a bit about yoga. Okay. All right. So when I got into yoga, which is about two years ago, mm -hmm. I got into yoga from a very different um, uh, perspective. Okay. I got into yoga and I learned about the mind-body-soul connection and I learned that the three need to connect um, in order for life to flow. Now when life flows things are at ease. Not easier, okay. but at ease. Okay. okay? And um, through yoga I also learned that when you, the yoga instructor puts us in very difficult positions, like very awkward sometimes, like, come on, and he tells you, he's like, when your body wants to give up, that is the minute your body is gaining, okay? And you'll always hear in yoga for them, you'll always hear a yoga instructor tell you, breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay. I can't breathe to this, this position. I'm explaining it okay, to you. Let's go. <laughs> so this is, these are the tools, right? So okay. for, in order for things to flow with ease, the three things need to be connected, mind, body, soul. If you feel overwhelmed and maybe you're like in a difficult position, that is when you are actually gaining in life, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you forget how to be in the moment and you don't know how to make the connection of the three, just breathe in and out. Be present. No, you didn't. simple. No way. Yeah, honestly. I was waiting, I, I, my notebook was... <laughs> it's like an equation. <laughs> Eat right. <laughs> no, that's it. It's breath. Our, pow our breath is very powerful. They keep saying that all the time. Yeah. Never and and we don't that. take it seriously. We really should. Our breath is what brings us into the present moment. And that's how And it calms everything. It can, it can heal you. Your breath can heal you. This is powerful. Yeah. This is, it, it is powerful. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Even when you finish a class, they're like, breathe in. Mm -hmm. Stay in the moment, they just like, Yeah, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm tired. My cooker, is, my cooker is on. <laughs> my cooker is on at home. <laughs> you don't leave the top yeah. open. But you see, when you, when you focus on your breath, and that's why sometimes they tell you breathe in, breathe in the color pink, breathe out the color purple, because they're actually making you concentrate on your breath. Okay. Yeah. You can even do it with the sound, om, you know, amen. <laughs> wow, that's that's really. I hope you guys are taking note because I am. I am. Yeah. And um, and try it when you're overwhelmed. Just breathe in and out very deeply. I'll probably like on my way out of here. <laughs> Why? Because so no, so you would you have returned my shoes. Yes, You'd be walking that's true. Out and traffic <laughs> and all of that. Yeah. But we um, when you talked about your mom and how she was a model and how she inspired you to get into mm -hmm. that, how's that for your kids? Is there something that they're getting from you or something that you're you know, slowly? A lot of people say to me, "So your daughter's going to be Miss India, Kenya," and I'm like, "I don't know. She'll be whatever she wants to yeah. be. Mm -hmm. I I hope to influence them in whichever way possible. Okay. I really do. Uh, the other day, my daughter said to me, "Mama, I'm going to write a book on inspiration." And I was like, yeah. Wow. So I think in a way they also sort of influence my life because they are powerful humans. I think children are amazing. We can yeah. learn a lot from them. And again, they know how to just be present. They know how to be in the moment. 
Um, so yeah, my daughter takes my phone and she sees what I do on my Insta story. So she tries to do the same thing. And I, I encourage her to do whatever she wants to do, but I will not impose on either of them. Okay. Although my son is left-handed, and you know, so is Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. So I and call Obama. him. Yeah, I call him Mr. President. Oh, high five! <laughs> Influence in the right direction. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I like that. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really, really nice. That's really nice. If given a chance, would you go back to TV radio right now? I mean, if I found something that fits, okay. sure, why not? What are you looking at? I don't know. Just you something, don't know. You don't know. Something people. grown and sexy. Ah! Did you hear that? <laughs> I like a post you put on Facebook, and mm -hmm. it was very uh, on, on on Instagram. Yeah. And, um, the reason I bring it up is because you're very real on social media, where which most people are not, and um, you're very honest. Yeah. And you were complaining about aging. Uh -huh. Do you guys, this is my camera, do you guys agree? <laughs> you guess I'm getting a zoom, like a close up. <laughs> do, do not zoom. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't know what, what was going on with you at that point. And no, so you see, like uh, when I was on the catwalk in my early days, mm -hmm. <laughs> my younger days, I would come on and I would smile. And a lot of the, the audience would say, your smile is amazing. Yes. And you know, that was the feedback I'd get. So people loved my smile. So I would always smile. And um, recently, now, you know, because I'm in my 40s, I noticed the crow's, the crow's feet. Yeah, the crow's feet. Um, so I don't smile as much in my pictures because I get the creases and... I don't, I have an issue with them. <laughs> Look, we all have issues. I get it. And that was the message in the, in the post. Like, yeah, so you know I'm, what, this is what I'm dealing with. You judge away, yeah, whatever, you whatever, do whatever, what whatever. You need but to this do, is what I feel but, yeah. at this particular mm -hmm. moment. And how does that do for you and, and, and your family setup and, you know, people who are living in a big family? Yeah. Do, do they look at you as a, eh, let's move on the case of it too. Because it starts with a word I can't just say on TV. <laughs> Well, I will not say it. Like, my daughter grounds me constantly. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Like I said to her, I said, you know, Ariana, I don't know what I'll do when you're a teenager. She said, well, you'll be part of the elderly. I was like, pardon? She's <laughs> like, you won't have to worry. You'll be part of the elderly. I was like, easy there. I think I'll still have it. <laughs> I still do have it. Yeah, I still but you see, like, it, my mom always used to say, it's about aging gracefully. Yeah. I'm not in denial. We're all aging. We're we are. all getting there. We are. It's just being beautiful about it and owning it. And, you know, not, I mean, for me, not looking for ways to deny your age showing. It's, it's going to show. So maybe I smile less in photos, but it's just, that's a personal thing. <laughs> You had a few things to say about Ifikia Wazazi. Yeah. <laughs> On, uh, was it Y TV or some, yeah, some station yeah. you were at? Um, what is, uh, is it, social media came and it, it brought amazing things to us. It's a job for people, mm -hmm. it's an office for people, mm -hmm. it creates opportunities, it's, um, it's connected all of us in one yes. way or the other. Yeah. But also it brought some other things uh -huh. with it. And photography as well. I was listening to a spoken word artist who was talking about photography and he said with Canon, no, 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 whatever numbers. <laughs> and I was like, it was beautiful. And then, da, 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 and then it became this. If yeah. here was mm -hmm. So what, what's your opinion on, you know, on I mean, I, I think um, as parents, we need to be talking to our children a lot more about what, what you can do, what you shouldn't do. I'll yeah. give you an example just today. I was talking to UNHCR, there is a celebrity, I won't mention her name, but I said, I want to work with her. Okay. And they said, fine. And then they, they have to do due diligence. Yeah. So they did a background check and they came back and they're like, well, you know, she has a sex tape, we can't. I'm like, pardon? She has a sex tape? I, I had no idea. Oh my God. And you see, these things will always catch up with yeah. you. They will always catch up with you. Yeah. You know, we, we're probably doing things that we're unaware of for validation, likes, followers, etc. <laughs> you want to be relevant, you want to be controversial. Um, I think you need to seek guidance. It sounds very boring and yeah. dull. It sounds like a 42 year old woman speaking here, but I just think there are no shortcuts to anything in life. Yeah. Anything that easy come, easy go. There is a reason, you know, that there is that saying, easy come, easy, easy go. go. If you want to build a brand, you want to be serious about it, just really be patient, hang in there and be true to yourself. Um, you know, there's that fine line of 
it's my body, I'll do what, what, what mm -hmm. I, whatever I want to do. Yeah. It's my body, I'll expose it how I wish. But then you're also a role model and people That's are true. watching you. Yeah. And if it's okay for you, then it's okay for your children and their children yeah. and their friends. And so we don't think about the ripple effect, no. which is very, very sad. Yeah. You mentioned running as you come to this, and at the end of this conversation, yes. and uh, how important it is for whoever and whatever business you in. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about that, because you've talked about it even recently. Yeah. yeah. I think your brand is important. You know, you have to, your reputation is, is, it can be taken away in seconds. As much as you have thousands of reputations because yeah. of, of the amount of people you meet. So right now with, with the crew that's in here, I have uh, five different reputations, right? Because of each person I've impacted in a different way, good yeah. or bad. But nobody can take away facts. Do you get what I mean? I what they find on you or of you, if yes. they see a picture of you just in a very weird <laughs> position, mm -hmm. that is a fact. True. And it has been done and it has been taken and it cannot be erased because the internet, you know, the, every, yeah, it never forgets, never as, forgets as we all know. So um, just be careful when you build your brand. And yeah, maybe you want to try something risque and maybe you, but don't just take advice, take guidance, always look at mentors to sort of help you. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, mantras, philosophy, something that you constantly think about, meditate about. I yeah. you know you do yoga, I don't know what else you do for <laughs> fun and to be at ease. Yes. Uh, but maybe you can mention that as we come to the end of the conversation, mantras, philosophy and stuff you like. Wow, okay, so mantras for me, like I I just like living in positivity. Um, even if something negative happens, I try to look at the, the bright side. It sounds like a cliche, but it's really, really helped me. Yeah. You know, um, live and let live. If someone's wronged you, Please do not waste your time. Um, and my, my latest mantra is love yourself. Because once you love yourself, nothing, nothing can come in between you and the rest of the world. That's true. Yeah. And when you love yourself, you've got some love to give. You can't give what you don't have. Absolutely. So it starts with you. Yeah. Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, thank you. But you're, you're going to end the show. But before that, <laughs> before she does that, I don't know about you, but I'm going to try everything breathing in, breathing out, and try living in the moment because there's beauty in that. So try find some beauty today. It's a Monday. So find us on social media, KTN Life and Style, Twitter and Instagram, KTN Life and Style, and it's 22840, and you're gonna take us on a break, and that is your camera. All right, guys, so you can also follow me on social media, at Pinky Gilani. Thank you so much for watching. Asante Sana. See you next time. <laughs>